top android mods which you can also try out on your android device if your device is rooted and you want to explore some things on a device then check out this video and make sure to watch this video till the end video is going to be quite interesting one for you for sure so make sure to watch it till the end firstly make sure you have installed magisk i would definitely prefer you magisk where you can install other modules for example kernel su or a patch but magisk is recommended and the first one is one of the most important mods and that is anti-boot loop you have installed magisk it's good sometimes by any chance if a module cause boot loop then make sure you have installed anti boot loop as you can see protection from boot loop I press power key at boot to disable magisk modules i tried this it was working fine after installing some modules of course sometimes i get boot loop and to recover from that thing this module is just so important for now it's working for me so i thought i shall share it with you and if you already got this module from my other channel it's good because that is in hindi language and a lot of users are not able to understand that we are here in this one second one is ls post why i've included this one because with the latest qpr2 update unfortunately official ls post because it's down and it's no more maintaining so no support for qpr2 unfortunately but this is a modded version of ls post all credits goes to their developers this is the modded edition and you can install it on a device and it should work fine because i'm also using google pixel device right now which is having the latest qpr2 update i'm able to use this ls pose and i'm able to use some modules of course and you have a lot of modules available by the way let me tell you one more thing ls pose is not maintaining but modules are there so don't worry modules are here you can use it on a device even if ls pose is not updating from a long time just simply install ls pose modded edition and yes you are good to go i've installed this using no so far i am not facing any kind of issues so yes you can check it out on a device third one which is one of my favorite from some time now and this is install with options what this basically does for example you want to downgrade an app you want to install an app by all the permissions already granted for example in this case you have the option for downgrade you have the option to install the package for all users you have the option to disable the verification and tons of other things and all these things are available especially if your device is rooted it's good if your device is not rooted you can even use this thing with the help of shizuku and if you don't know how to set up shizuku of course you can check out my video already available on my channel for example in this case what i'm going to do is i'm just going to downgrade an android app and what that is that is crickbus for example if i go to app info check out the version which is 6.15.06 and this is the version and I'm going to install downgraded version without uninstalling the original APK which is so good this is one of the main highlights of using this one so that's why i'm using this right now and feeling quite satisfied as you can see installation is completed and i'm opening this app no issues i just downgraded an app sometimes it causes you issues but in this case no issues at all and let me show you the app info once so that you will get in confirmation as you can see 6.15.05 so yes it's downgraded without even uninstalling it so one of the main features of this app by the way this app still brings you a lot of extra features so make sure to check it out another one is which is now actually a new one and i hadn't made a video yet on this module this is wa enhancer which simply means it's a whatsapp mod so if you have installed ls post by the way for this you make sure you have ls post installed and i've already shared ls post just few seconds ago where you can install a modded version this is basically a mod for whatsapp and all the supported versions are also listed here so make sure you have installed the supported version only and it's updated just two or three previous versions it's updated so no issues with that and this update or this mod simply brings you some amazing pre-installed features for example if you have installed official version from the whatsapp official version from the google play store whatsapp official version you can use the download option you have the option to hide your recent uh, hide your recent last seen of course you also have the option to disable the channels which is one of my favorite feature personally speaking because i don't like them and i and i don't want to see it at all and i can disable the recommendations i can disable the channel section properly 
and yes you definitely have to check it out a lot of versions are supported for this one it also supports whatsapp business it supports whatsapp official version it also supports whatsapp business so make sure to check it out another one which is uh, of course quite amazing and that is mmrl which simply means magisk modules repo loader and uh, this is basically a hub of all the magisk modules a lot of modules are available there you can simply install the modules directly from here or you can download the modules from here install it from your other manager for example magisk or we have kernel su a patch it simply work on the rooted devices if it works on non rooted too but in non rooted versions you will not be able to install the modules you will simply be able to uh, download them and yes you can install it from the other options in this case we also have the option to add the custom repositories if you have any then you can install and use that too so yes a lot of and tons of options are available these are some amazing mods which you can try out in most of the devices with this latest version and also in 2024 and as i just mentioned already i am using magis right now in my case which is magis 27.0 you can use any other version too you can use kernel su you can use a patch and uh, make sure you have installed the latest android version and also you can also try out shizuku because of that install with options app so these were things i just wanted to let you know i hope you like this if you like this video don't forget to drop a like if you are new here don't forget to subscribe the channel for more interesting videos are coming soon thanks for watching